हेलो फ्रेंड्स प्लानिंग टू बिल्ड योर ड्रीम होम होल्ड ऑन बिकॉज ए सिंगल मिस्टेक इन द प्लानिंग फेज कैन कॉस्ट यू लैक्स लेटर इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू वॉक यू थ्रू फाइव एसेंशियल स्टेप्स अलॉन्ग विद प्रैक्टिकल प्रो टिप्स दैट विल सेव यू मनी टाइम एंड ए लॉट ऑफ स्ट्रेस लेट एस बिगिन विद स्टेप वन द बेसिक फ्लोर प्लान और टू डी ड्रॉइंग दिस इज वेयर इट ऑल बिगिन्स Think of it as the blueprint of your future home. It defines room sizes, layout, wall positions, doors, windows, staircase placement, even your parking space or garden area if you have one. The cost is pretty reasonable, around five rupees per square feet, which means for a thousand square feet house, you are looking at about five thousand rupees. Each additional floor is also charged at 5 rupees per square feet. Now here are some pro tips. Always get this done by a qualified architect, not just a draftsman. Share your lifestyle needs with them, like where you want your puja room, guest bedroom or utility area. Also make sure there is enough cross ventilation and natural light. especially if you are building in a hot region these small things make a big difference step 2 structural detailing this is the real skeleton of your house it covers the size and position of your columns beams slabs and even the foundation design including the type and amount of steel and concrete to be used this step usually cost around 8 rupees per square feet so for a 1000 square feet house expect around 8000 rupees why is this step critical because skipping this or copying a generic plan can lead to cracks in walls weak foundations water seepage issues and a drastically shorter building life span sometimes just 10 to 15 years instead of 60 to 70 years Let me break down a few essential structural guidelines. If you are building a single floor, your foundation should be at least 4 feet deep. For two floors, go for 5 feet, and for three floors, a minimum of 6 feet is ideal. Keep the distance between columns within 15 to 17 feet, and for beams, never try to reduce the depth just to save cost. Always consult a structural engineer. pro tip if you ever plan to add more floors in the future account for that now once your foundation and columns are set there is no turning back step 3 is mep that is mechanical electrical and plumbing drawing this is one of the most underrated but vital steps most people skip this and later end up spending lakhs on rework MEP drawings show the positions of all your switches, fans, lights, geysers, ACs, washing machine points and also the pipe routes for water, drainage and gas. Again this step cost around 8 rupees per square feet. That is 8000 rupees for a 1000 square feet home. Here is how you get it right. Share your furniture layout beforehand. This will help place switches and lights in the right spots plan separate water inlets for the kitchen and washing machine area if you are thinking of installing solar water heaters or a rain water harvesting system plan for that now not after the house is built step 4 3d elevation and submission drawing now that the structure is in place it's time to visualize your home The 3D elevation helps you see the exterior design, colors and materials. So you can tweak elements like balcony grills, facade patterns or tiles before construction even starts. The cost 6000 rupees for the ground floor and 2000 rupees extra per additional floor. Along with that you will need a submission drawing. This is what you submit to the local municipal authority to get your plan approved. The cost is about 7 rupees per square feet. So 7000 rupees for a 1000 square feet house. Pro tip: 
Keep both a soft copy and multiple hard copies of the submission drawing. You will need it for inspections, applying for water and electricity connections, and maybe even future renovations. Also make sure your elevation design matches your budget. Fancy facades look great but can really shoot up construction cost. Step 5. Interior Visualization This final step gives you clarity on how your interiors will look before any paint or furniture work begins. It includes paint color simulations, furniture layout, fall ceiling designs, wardrobe placement, and TV unit design. Usually this cost around 5000 rupees per room. Focus on key rooms, your kitchen, living room, and bedrooms. This step saves a lot of confusion during execution and helps avoid costly last minute changes. Now let us talk about something most people get wrong, choosing the right contractor. So here is a bonus section with practical advice on contractor codes, construction grades and how to avoid scams. Never go blindly with the cheapest quote. If someone quotes 170 rupees per square feet and another quotes 200 rupees per square feet, don't just jump for the lower rate. Often cheaper rates come with compromises in materials like cement, steel or even skilled labor. Here is how you hire the right contractor. Visit two to three of their old sites. Don't just rely on photos, see it in person. Talk to their workers, ask if they are paid on time. Avoid hiring an architect and contractor from the same team. They might cover up for each other's mistakes. Always get detailed return estimates from both and yes, sign a contract. Prefer local contractors. They are easier to follow up with. They won't vanish midway and your material deliveries will be faster. So friends, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.